Hello gamers, uh, Pat here. Welcome to uh, a video about E3 2014, a video where we are going to watch the trailers uh, and see what games got announced and the purpose of this video is to, you know, besides watching the videos and the games, is to cut the bull crap and the bullshit out. Uh, mainly because E3 is like a conference where the purpose for the company is to hype teams up and we get excited then we hype the game up and then when the game comes out we might actually be uh, disappointed because it was actually a lie so this is what we are I, i'm trying to do here basically so i am going to I, i'm trying to be as unbiased as possible and i was a little bit biased maybe on the microsoft video and now we are going to do the, Ubis the ubisoft video i've already done microsoft and ea and um i'm basically a little bit way too aggressive maybe towards ubisoft because of watchdogs we and i just finished watchdogs like two days ago and i have to i, I need to make my review soon uh, but that's the classic example of a game that was very hyped. The video that we, we were shown at E3 in 2012, I believe, it was a lie. Uh, people really hyped the game out a lot. And when the game came out, the game was kind of rubbish. For one reason, because it was hyped. It wasn't the next-gen game. It wasn't what they were... The, 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 the graphics were turned down versus the video that we saw. And... Um, this is why I'm a little bit way too aggressive towards Ubisoft because they have done that before and I do expect it to see it again. So, the first video that we are going to see is basically Violent Hearts and it's a cinematic trailer which means that we don't really learn too much in, from cinematic trailers because we don't see gameplay we, and we have no idea what this game is about. So let's see, Ubi Art Framework, okay. Another framework that uses UB art is basically Rayman, which is an awesome game. To my dearest friends, through the evil noise of artillery, tanks, and planes, I remember our adventures, your friendship, and your pain. My closest friend, Emil, in your twilight years, you came to fight, not for glory, but to mend your daughter's tears. Lucky Freddy, you were always fearless and with intent. I hope you have found peace with your letters that were never sent. Anna, my bravest of warriors across the Western Front, saving the mountain of wounded without firing a shot. And Carl, if only I could light your way home through the fields of war, through treacherous nights, to be with your family once more. Although, I cannot write these words. And the time has come to part. Your stories will always remain. As will your valiant hearts. Okay, so it's a game that's supposed to be sad. It's a game that's supposed to be in World War I. It has a dog involved and the artwork is nice. That's what we learn in this video. And we also learned that this game exists. Okay, Just Dance again. Oh my god. Of course they are going Peggy to have a... Dry. Peggy Dry. Peggy <laughs> Dry. Of course they are going to have a Just Dance video. Nope. Copyrighted music. I don't want my, you, my video to get flagged. Anyway, it's a game where you dance. You've seen it before. Shape Up. Gameplay Demo 1. Okay. I'm not, I have no idea what this is. So, I'm excited. Oh my god, I'm going to be hyped. What is this game? God, oh my god. Let's see. <laughs> and now I remember, I, I've seen this live. It's basically, you know, like a Kinect game or something like that where you actually have to do the moves, you see? How the guy is doing this. Basically, you do the moves and you, you know, play a game by doing 
fitness. Uh, it, it, it would have been better to see the actual. You, you have. You see, you are doing push ups. <laughs> Elephant! <laughs> anyway, interesting concept, I guess. <laughs> now, the division. <sighs> the division is basically the reason why I'm a bit too aggressive uh, right now. Well, because my mind got, you know, like, hello, hello, watchdogs, hello. And the division might be. The same thing might happen with the division. I remember last year when we saw the division, we were like, "Oh my god, the game is so awesome! The division is so awesome! Oh my god, it's a lie! It's a lie!" What we saw in the other videos, it was a scripted event. What we saw like last year, it was a scripted event. Everything was scripted. It was a scenario that they built. You know how the guys interacted with each other. It's somehow like a single-player MMO, something like that. Uh, at least from what we know it's looking nice yes it's looking very fabulous it's giving you a good feeling from what you see in the scripted events but it's not something that is going to be like this when the game is coming out keep that in mind don't get yourself hyped don't get yourself don't, don't hype the game up because you guys are creating well you guys me myself maybe um I are thinking that this game is going to be awesome. You are setting the standards up high. And when the game is out, it's supposed to be just mediocre, maybe, right? So cinematic trailer, you usually don't learn anything from cinematic trailers. But yes, the game is looking nice. But Watch Dog looked superb in the game, in, in the videos two years ago. And when it came out, it wasn't like in that video. They turned the graphics down. so distant, detached. Someone else's struggle in some faraway place. It's not until it's in our. It's in anger, fear, in the instinct to survive. So, yeah, you, you see, you, you are looking at this and you'll be like, yeah, New York is looking great. It's about survival. Look how, how the awesome the graphics are. Um, you, and, and then you watch the interaction. It's not, it's not in this video, but you watch the interaction uh, between those guys, the, those guys that are playing. So there is a point where Megan, which is the female character, tells the other guy, watch your step. I imagine yourself playing this game with your heads and on, and you, you will tell watch your step to, to your friend. Come on. <laughs> it's not, you're not going to play the game like that. That's how they played it, and they and they have done a good job making the whole game like a scenario based on how the the, the whole video a scenario based it and you will be like yo oh my god that's nice look how they nice the how look how they play look how they interact with each other be careful with the division i cannot say this enough i mean yeah you you might not be with assassin's creed we've seen plenty of assassin's creed we are kind of tired with assassin's creed they are still doing it because they still sells okay same thing with call of duty but with the division, it's something new and you are going to get crushed. Your feelings are going to get I crushed. For example, me with Assassin's Creed, I don't give a flying fuck about it. Why? Uh, I got Assassin's Creed 3 on a sale because I, the first Assassin's Creed was... Okay, so it was something new, but it got boring fast. It was very boring. The second one was awesome. Then it started to be the same thing again, the same thing again. Then Assassin's Creed 3 came out and I only bought it after like one year with 10 euros i was like, okay let's try it out so i played the game for like two hours where i was still on the boat go there go there go there go there okay i was it's still a tutorial right now i'm in the tutorial this is why it's like this i end i i, I go to i finally go to america and you see you know that cinematic you see america shore you know going to the shore and see ubisoft presents like a movie like, okay I, at least i'm here and then i played the game for one more hour and it was just Blah, 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 cinematic. Go there. In 15 seconds, I arrive there, I see another cinematic. And I figured out I'm still not playing the game. He's still trying to teach me how to fucking climb the fucking tower to do the same thing again. So I said, nope. So basically, Assassin's Creed Unity happens in France uh, during 1789 or something like that. Basically, when the revolution is and so on. What I like about Assassin's Creed series, usually uh, it's 
the environment is very well made and especially i remember this in assassin's creed 2 uh, in 2010 i went to italy to a pixies concert and um, i went to venice um, Fordly, and I saw some of the buildings live and then I got back home. I was actually playing Assassin's Creed during that time uh, I was about half to the game. I went to Italy and then I when I come back I went to Venice in the game and also once to Venice um, In Italy in real life, you know, I was like, yeah, I've seen that before and then I'm reading more about the tower and I'm like, Hey, this is much this is very interesting. You see that this, this is nice uh, the crew basically who oh, better sign up, but I guess it's only for uh, I'm not sure if this is for PC anyway uh, the, the crew is kind of the only uh, game, ra racing game that I'm a little bit excited about. I am still careful, but why? I, I've said this on the Microsoft video when I was talking about Forza, and I don't really like racing games, only if they're at least arcade-ish games, because I see no purpose. Your purpose is to finish the first, and that's it. Uh, it is why I usually play simulators. I got a steering wheel and so on, and because there my purpose is not to finish the first my purpose my purpose is to actually finish the race my purpose is to improve my my feeling of the car I, I my purpose is to learn the circuit better and it's something every time i'm learning something new and i'm feeling that i'm progressing myself and i'm, I'm not feeling that the game is showing me look you progressed achievement unlocked you know it's it's a progression that comes with the skill of driving this is why i like playing eye racing for example right now i understand that some people like this game i personally don't like those games but the crew i like what they are doing this is a cinematic trailer which means that we are not going to learn anything but uh, let's watch it and i will try to tell you why i liked the crew from what i saw at least last year it's somehow like a single player mmo so other people can join you which is nice it's in usa and from what i've read in the past in order for you to to go from uh, right from west to east of America, it's like two hours, so that's a lot. But it wasn't, a, at least from what I saw, it wasn't a game that were, the purpose was for you to win. You can invite your other friends, and then you'll have some type of missions to take down a boss or something, like, and you have to ramble into it. At least it was some kind of mission. So this kind of rise, uh, they also have a lot of customizations and so on. So this kind of, and look, it's actually looking kind of nice. Looking, the graphics overall are looking, you know, nice environments. So it is why it, it made my interest in the crew a little bit more like other games, like Forza, for example. And since, you know, you have a lot of stuff in America, you have desert, you have mountains, you have snow, you have cities, you're going to have a lot of different type of environments, so this is something nice. But again, be careful. And it's also going to come out on PC, which is nice. So I might actually... Uh, one thing that I'm not doing anymore, it's pre-ordering and uh, hyping myself up. I was a little bit hy hyped with, uh, for example, uh, Titanfall, because I played the beta and I enjoyed it. And then when it came out, I didn't have the money to buy it right on launch, so I bought it one, one month later, and I have only played it for like one week. It was like, eh, you see how big the map is? I played, I played it for one week and then I only saw it and I was like, what, I have Battlefield 4 if I want multiplayer, why did I bought this? It was still kind of the same thing, getting boring pretty fast. Okay, pre-order the limited edition, you get some extra cars and blah 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 blah. Anyway, uh, I believe it's coming out this year, if I remember correctly, sometimes in November. And I will look at the beta sign up. Game Ubi. For PC close beta. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So you guys can sign up for the PC close beta. Okay, nice, nice. Rainbow Six uh, Siege. I haven't played the Rainbow Six in like 10 years. Six minutes. You're not going to look at all of it. I remember seeing this live. It's You're not really... It, it, they say gameplay demo, but it's a very scripted thing and you still don't know what the hell is happening. So yeah, okay, a new Rainbow Six games, I remember, you know. 
I really haven't played the Rainbow Six in like 10 years or more. Yeah, yeah. At least 12 years. Okay, I guess. Interesting to see how you will solve the missions and feed the hostiles up and see what scenarios they prepared for you. But the game, the game that I'm most excited about, but again, I'm careful, is Far Cry 4. Why? Because I really, really, really enjoy Far Cry 3. That was really surprising for me. I wasn't really expected to enjoy Far Cry 3. And then people said, hey, Far Cry 3 is fun. Far Cry 3 is fun. And I bought the game after like two. Actually, I got it for my birthday in December. Uh, and that was kind of unexpected. Vaz was an awesome character. And now we get a new Far Cry 4, a new Far Cry which is in the Himalayas and the environment is really looking nice and uh, I'm really curious on how this I want to play this uh, full screen Peggy 18. so let's see let's see it but uh, again be careful I'm not sure if this is a gameplay video, but there are some gameplay videos out already. What's with the black screen? Stop wasting our time. Ubisoft presents classic intro. Monkey! Passport. Monkey! I'll do the talking. Passport. Monkey. Monkey. I guess this is how the game What's starts. Happening? Patna boss. Patna. The main character seems scared. Parva hai, to baad mein ja. Lekin hamari range mein. Hey. Maine kaha baad mein ja. Kuch hai? Abhi tak kuch nahi. Koi baat nahi boss, koi baat nahi. Le lo. Chup. Mil gaya? Kuch mil gaya? Halo. Halo. Bhi jaane. Sahi ko. Hey rok. Ruko. <laughs> the guy is still looking like an idiot. Hab ich nicht gesagt. Stop the bus. The bus. Yes, stop. Ja, stop the bus. Nicht Scheibe auf den bus. I'm very particular with my words. Feine meine Wörter mit Bedacht. Stoppen, Scheiben. Stop. Stoppen, Scheiben. Do those words. Klingen diese Wörter gleich. But it got out of control. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? It got out of control. Got out of control. I hate when things get out of control. Oh! One fucking chap, you couldn't fucking do that! And that's how you see that this is a crazy character. <sighs> kind of a lame way and to I show that the character is shells. crazy just by killing a person in front of you. I mean, it's been used before. Like, oh my god, he co killed him in, clo in, you know, in cold blood. Like. Up. Get up, boy. I recognize those eyes anywhere. 
I'm so sorry about this. This was supposed to be... Well, not this. We have a party waiting for you, but I don't think I know your name. Who is this? Hmm? Is this your plus one? <laughs> Strong, silent type. I like it. I am terribly embarrassed about all of this. This was supposed to be very simple, but you know, if you give oh. food to monkeys, they just throw their shit at each other. You know? Oh, would you hold this? For just a moment, I want to get a little picture right into the camera. There we are. Awesome. Mm. Don't worry about a thing, my boy. This will soon be behind us, and we'll be off on a grand adventure. Because I have cleared my calendar for you. You and I are gonna tear shit up! Copyrighted music, not good. Okay, let's watch more Far Cry 3. How? Gameplay demo. Is this the one? Seven and minutes. That's our, our, our new fictional location. Deek and hope of, of an open world. Yeah, let's see. Of, of an open world is, you know, what is all that smoke coming from? You know, what temples are out there? What secret locations? So we've, we've, we've peppered the world with different places to find uh, uh, all of them filled with uh, loot and secrets. And, and stuff like the, the eagle stealing the, the burral of the goat. Like, it isn't scripted, that's just what happens at the intersection of the... Right, for uh, one of uh, the... Nice. ...and force you to use the grab... ...a super useful stealth weapon. So this is one of my favorite bits. This, this If you look down when you're meleeing uh, uh, in the new game, you kick. So you can do all kinds oh. of fun setups nice. such as that. Kicking things is hilarious. I expect people around the world to be kicking rocks. Explosive barrels, dead bodies, uh, come November. Yeah, the game is coming in November or something like that. A lot of games coming Our in Our goal really was just to provide November. as many tools as possible, whether they're vehicles or animals or, or weapons or, you know, goofy stuff, and let people fit them together uh, any way they want. Yeah, and we've, we've snuck a few features in that fans of Far Cry 3, I think, are going to be surprised by. Drive and shoot, yes. So drive and shoot, obviously it's it's a bit frustrating uh, to be chasing someone forever and have to sort of drive in front of them, pull over and wait for them to get out. So now in uh, uh, in the vehicles you can drive and shoot with any one-handed weapon. And you can also do driving takedowns <laughs> from any vehicle, which I really like. So this idea of leaping from your vehicle into another vehicle, do horrible things to them, boot them out the side and then, and then continue on your merry way. You can now deliver death without even leaving your seat. The wingsuit is still here and it's really cool as you see and actually when the space became more vertical it actually became more fun. The mountainous environment uh, means that there's a lot more wingsuiting to be found. And hopefully you won't get it before the middle of the game. You yes. will. Hopefully you will get it yes, before the middle of the game. Will. That's the current plan. But we are many months away from uh, watching you guys abuse us online. Uh, means that there's a lot more wingsuiting to be found. And hopefully you won't get it before the middle of the game. So here you'll get a look. Uh, uh, at, at elephants. Elephants are, are, are awesome, probably my favorite animal in the game. Weaponized in many different ways. You can drive them into a rage, watch them smash the other characters in the world, or you can clamber on top of one and drive it through the gate yourself. My favorite animal is, is the human animal. It's very Far Cry 2 of you, Mark. <laughs> oh, it's the shark of darkness. <laughs> So co-op is a is a massive part of the new oh, game. Yeah, uh, it's it's uh, uh, one of our big ways of opening up the open world and letting you play any way you want. So basically, when you ask your buddy to join, uh, all the solo missions turn off, uh, and you're left with all of the open world toy, the outposts, the fortresses, uh, the towers, uh, all the quests to play any way you want. What do you think of the buzzer, Mark, which is a small uh, one-man helicopter? It's very red. No, but it's, it's cool because it gives like this 
almost like developer perspective on the world. Like you normally in yeah, Far Cry 3, it's looking kind of nice. It might actually be good. It might actually be good. So looking forward to this one actually. Okay, in the next video we are basically going to look at the Sony conference and uh, there are a lot of videos here and we will see exactly what's okay a lot of videos here bro force which is a cool game anyway thank you guys for watching this um see you in the next video goodbye